Okay, so there is uh, one thing that I've never really cared about with uh, bench vices, and that's these dinky little round handles. It never really dawned on me what I might do to change that or fix it until recently. Um, I've got a second vise sitting outside that I'm going to try to modify. Actually, let me get the piece here. <clears throat> I kind of got the idea to make a handle. Actually, let me get something else. That's kind of like a longer version of my tap wrench handles. Just out of steel and a little bit uh, skinnier. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking taking and cutting this off right here and then milling a slot into this to match this steel that I'm going to cut down to about 800 thousandths thick and then I'm going to you know round the ends of it off and probably going to put a detent in the middle um, Something that I can put like a thumb screw or something, tap and tap a thumb screw into here for. Um, anyways, it's still, it's not anything that I've kind of really planned out very effectively. So I'm just sort of winging it. Not sure exactly how it's going to turn out, but I'm probably going to wind up doing the video in a couple shots or so, but, or two or three parts, something like that. Um, camera's telling me I only got about 19 minutes to film so I'm going to uh, toss this or cut cut a piece cut the end of that off on the saw real quick um, and then probably I don't know face it off on the lathe what I haven't figured out yet for sure is whether or not I want to try and drill and tap or actually maybe I could put some hardened pins I've got to figure out how exactly I want to put this cap back on or physically attach the cap back to the main body of this after I cut it off and put my slot in here that's the one thing I haven't quite figured out yet if I want to drill and tap to do that if I want to weld it back on or what I just thought about was possibly um, putting some pins in it and driving it back on. Um, so we'll see. I'm not really feeling like getting the welder out today, so we'll see what I come up with on that. But at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and cut the end of this thing off and get it cleaned up, and then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do another interesting part. All right, so the next little thing is I'm just going to throw this in the lathe real quick now that I've got it cut off and uh, clean up this end. Try to, uh, you know, square this up a little bit before I put it into the Cochrane Bly Mill and start to cut the slot in it, so... This will just take a couple of minutes to get this situated. Not shooting for perfection or anything here, just trying to get it cleaned up. So, anyways, I'll, uh, so I don't waste a bunch of time, I'm going to pause the camera there because you, you kind of get the idea. So, I'll bring you back when I've got that thing uh, ready to do something else with it. Okay, so. The next thing that I realized I need to do is I need to get this down to uh, get it uh, cut down to the 800 thousandths thickness before I can um, get situated to do the slot on the on the screw that thing. So I'm just going to throw it in here and very crudely start taking off the thickness of this thing. And there again, I'm not really shooting for high precision, so 
just gonna kind of I got on a scrap piece of steel that is holding it up a little bit so it'll clear the jaws of the vise and that'll have to be good enough I think guess I could have gotten a little better prepared for this but like I said I'm just kind of winging this so I'm not really sure exactly how this is going to turn out just yet Okay, so I'll give you guys just a little bit of a view of this. It's probably going to be pretty loud, so definitely going to want to turn your volume down, but I'm going to lock the Z in. I'm going to use my power feed on this one since it's going to take some time. At any rate, you guys pretty well get the idea there. I'm going to pause the camera again and I'll bring you back when I've got this thing down to about 800 thousandths. Okay. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me over the other mill running at the moment. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting this guy set up in the Cochrane Bly. Uh, this is the first time I've had the opportunity to use one of these cutters, so pretty excited about that but anyways I got a couple of parallels set up in here right now I'm just gonna set this in here and uh, tighten it up and just kind of approximately level it but I've got to still kind of keep my eye on the other mill because it's um, about halfway through its second to last cut so let's see here I'm gonna take this just kind of That should be close enough to level. Alright, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod for a second here and bring you around and show you this from the front side. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a slot, oops, make a slot right on the end of this. So I'm just going to be moving the uh, y-axis in and out as I add a little bit of depth from the x-axis. And you can see this guy's cruising along. So after this pass I should have about another 25,000 to take off to get to my 800,000 thick. So I'm going to let that cruise along. And I'm going to start making some cuts with this thing. It's been a long time since this guy's been ran. Actually, the other mill is just about to finish up, so I'm going to go over here real quick. Final pass. So 
I'm going to start making a little bit of cuts with this. I'm going to get ready to pause the camera here in a second, but you can kind of see where I'm going with that. So I'll get it down to depth and then I'll widen it to a size that'll fit this. And this guy's just about ready to finish up. So I'm probably getting pretty close to the end of this, what I'm going to do for this video. So. Once this cut finishes, I'm going to uh, go ahead and stop the video and go upload it. I gotta say, it is kind of handy to have two different mills. Wasn't really my intention, but it's proven to be handy for this sort of operation. Stop the auto feed, shut the mill off. All right. Okay, hopefully I'm somewhere near 800 thousandths uh, wide with this now. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that off camera, see if I need to make any adjustments to it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to start getting this, trying to get this the rest of the way to depth and then widen it as I need to to fit uh, this handle here. So anyways, I'm going to stop this video here and I'll catch up with you guys in part two.